Hello my soccer universe. Uh, for reasons that I will reveal later, I had actually planned this video completely differently. However, my team, these guys, managed to end the season in the most shameful manner possible. It's an absolute bum note. In a season that was full of bum notes, but in the end ended really well. I would have to say it was a joy. And there were many high points in this season that I really should look back at at the season and said, yeah, this was a real up and down, but in, in the end they reached the third place, the European group stage is secured, and you played some great stuff in the end. You beat Salzburg at home, which hadn't happened for a long time, and you beat Rapid 5-0 at home. All great, the best memories that I could imagine happened this season. You had a great season overall. Uh, you know, yes, Forget the beginning of the off of the year. Let's begin a little bit. But there are really good memories coming with this season. Last weekend, you challenged the about to become champions really uh, a lot. That they had to give their all to, uh, and you managed the draw so that uh, we'll have a title decider in the last round. You even put out the right noises af afterwards. That yes, we want to win every game. We're gonna go to Salzburg to win. And I'm gonna start the video right here with the match reviews because uh, there's no preamble needed. And then what do you do? What do you do? You a four major players are missing. Yes, Schul was already out and he didn't really feel feel for himself. But then Hobart muscle strain. I mean, he didn't even play last week. He he had he was banned for yellow for for for, for yellow cards that came out of nowhere. You sent Andrade already to Panama national team who is kind of stalwart in, in defense, and then Taui, who has been a revelation ever since we beat Hartberg away from home. And you say he's, he's also injured? <laughs> Sounds like you were already re ready to beat you. And then you play a lineup where, in a way, I was hoping that this would work out, but I knew this is three on the back. This has not worked out. With four on the back, it was always solid. It's already there. I felt the worst. But I said, yeah, the sporting prep, blah, blah. After eight minutes, they're down 2 nil. And yes, both goals were unlucky in a way. But it didn't, it didn't look good at all the way they uh, they could see. Especially the first, the, the first one is a comical uh, agglomeration of errors. Uh, you won't believe it. At least you got yourself back in the game. You probably had a goal, I think, the far from Ljubicic. That was really nitpicky, so you didn't have the goals cause going your way as well. You get a brilliant equalizer through Uso. However, as soon as Pavlovic had had, 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 had it in, you were a no-show. And if you don't have enough sporting pride to at least give the impression that you want to give it against Salzburg, they're all. I don't require you to win. But don't be the slaughtering lamp after. You lose 7-1. 7-1. And if you don't do it for Sporting Pride, if you don't do it to show to uh, the new champions at, in Graz that you gave it their all against them, you give it also their all against their uh, title rivals. Not hand the three points over just like that. And if you don't do it for them, do it at least for the numerous last quests that filled again the entire away section. Do it at least for them. Give them an ending where they can feel, yes, we at least gave, gave it all. But this was just falling over. Really, really falling over, bending over. And we may say Salzburg is a great team and they knew this is the last chance and they wanted to make sure but they also only needed three points. It was never gonna come down to goal difference. You don't lose 7-1. I'm really, really ashamed. It's an app. It, it's such a shameful end to, 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 to the season. Because at least I would have liked to say to Sturmgratz, you know, we gave it our all against you guys. And there was something to play for. Shouldn't be excused. But nah, I mean, if we, I know you shouldn't think in favors and whatever. But the image that they, that they have, if you wanted to ever a favor from some other team, it's not gonna happen. I mean, I guess if you're a Sturm fan, 
you probably uh, it feels any anyway better that you did it out of your own doing to win the title and not relying on anybody's help. But knowing that the help was not even coming, not even close to coming. I mean, when Sturm President Jauk uh, said uh, we knew how the other results were and I don't want to comment them here. That tells already a whole lot. That tells already a whole lot. Yeah, I, I, I'm really ashamed. I'm ashamed to be a Lusk fan. Actually, I'm so ashamed to be a Lusk fan that I, I want to do something that I have not done for a whole lot of the time. Let's salute the new champions. So here we are. Congratulations, Sturm Graz, for winning your fourth ever title and ending the reign, the 10-year reign of Red Bull Salzburg, doing so in a rather deserved manner. If I look at the over season, there were multi points. Yes, you were after Easter, you just had lost at home to Salzburg. You were five points behind. However, you didn't la let up, you turned it around. And not only did you win a title, you actually win the double for the second time ever. And I would be amiss to say, it's all fully deserved. Maybe the naysayers will say, Sturm Graz won thanks to the format because if you go and would uh, tally it all up, yes, it would probably turn out or it will turn out that Salzburg would finish level on points and still would win that title because of the head to head. However, the format is that Sturm Graz wins with a two point cushion. And given everything that they have done and go went through this season, I think it's really hard to say. The Sturm Graz would not deserve the title. They did it the hard way. I mean, uh, you know, receiving no help uh, from Lask whatsoever and Klangfurt giving it the all because they had a chance for fifth spot. Klangfurt actually kept, kept time. There were very few chances create, created. It was kind of a nervous atmosphere, although it was a great atmosphere, but it was kind of nervous. You could, 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 could see with the team. And yeah, there were very few chances. I mean, especially one by Babirith early on that maybe could have turned in the first half. But Klangford also had their chances. However, it came then. I mean, I think it was 5-1 already for Salzburg, for Salzburg when Wittrich after Horvath Cross had, had it in the 69th minute. And that released already a whole lot of stress. Uh, yes, Klangford then came. I think they even hit the post. And it needed then a camera goal in the 9th minute to really make absolutely sure that Sturm is going to win the title. But it was just the last act. And it was a much need, need, needed act and the title sales celebrations followed. And so yeah, I I am honestly happy that Sturm Graz ended that reign. If there was any other if there was a team to end it, that was not Lusk uh, a realistic team, I think Sturm Graz is probably the one to go for, if you were to ask me. Um, yes, there's always the little envy uh, that you know. Sturmgrad and Lusk to me should be very similar in terms of achievement, but uh, they have not been. Lusk is too much of a mess. Sturmgrad actually have a good leadership at the moment and they have had it for the past few decades. Um, they also uh, received the necessary funding uh, in the 90s to actually build the dynasty and build a winning culture thanks to Ivica Osim. <sighs> Lusk had also a transformative coach. Unfortunately, he went on to bigger things and is now coaching in at Crystal Palace. So um, those are the slight differences. But that aside, um, as I said, if there was any te other other team than Lask to end Salzburg's reign, it was always going to be Sturm Graz. And little envy aside, is a little bit like Austria versus Switzerland envy. Um, I cannot do anything else but congrat uh, congratulate them, congratulate them fairly. Uh, you had to do it the hard way, but you did it and you fully deserved doing, doing it. And I want to especially laud uh, leading staff with Schicker and coach Ilzer. What they have built is something else entirely and, entirely, and the team really worked well. The resources they pulled, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing, and it ends a great era. Coach Wilsa went to Austria Wenner, did not succeed there, but as soon as he went to Sturm Graz, it was very quickly clear that this is a Sturm Graz and it has been on the bottom. That was quickly turned around and he has built something that needed a disappointment from last season, where they already went for the title and just quite didn't manage it, but at least they got a cup out of it and now 
the one the double. So, bravo, Sturmgratz. You deserve all the, all the plaudits. And for once, I'm wearing in the video for the Austria Bundesliga, not a Lask shirt. And it's because I actually was quite excited watching you. Yes, whenever you played Lask, it was not. And I'm not turning into Sturmgratz fan right now. I'm still um, squarely with Lask. However disappointed I am, and however disgusted I am of what they did not do yesterday afternoon. Um, let's end the other, uh, the other games as well. I mean, the last game in the championship route I mean, is another disappointing showing for Rapid Wien, losing at home to Hartberg 3-0. Fully deservedly so, Hartberg securing a fifth spot. Uh, level of points with Rapid. Uh, and it's only because Rapid had uh, was around, uh, Rapid's record was rounded down that Rapid already had secured it. But level on points with Hartberg, uh, yeah, not a good showing for Rapid overall. Has to be absolutely said. After Eric Heinz and then Dominic Frieser, former last player, scoring the three goals. And I think, yeah, Rapid were also in holiday mode already. So you see the two teams that could not move out of their, their position anymore completely folded. It's not good. Absolutely not good. Absolutely, absolutely not good. I have, to, I have, I have to say. At least he only lost by three goals. But at least he lost to then. But then you lost, lost to Hartberg. I think giving. It's probably similarly bad at home to Hartberg as losing seven-one at Salzburg. At least what I would say. Let's talk about the qual qual qualification group where uh, Altach gets a late equalizer against Luz, Luzna 2-2. If Luzna would have won, this would have been kind of sad. And in three wins in a row to survive and Altach to not win anything. Altach got the point last time around. So at least this is put put to bed. Altach surviving and is surviving in 10th place ahead of Tirol. I had an invitation from my boss colleague uh, to go to the blau game against Austria Vienna, which I, which we had agreed on for a long time because I said I'm interested in seeing the new stadium of theirs as well. And I would have maybe talked a little bit more, but I'm so pissed at Lask that I don't want to talk a little bit more about uh, my whole experience there. It's not a bad one. All, all over on their stadium is, is cute, a little uh, but actually quite uh, well put and I, I, I think the location is fine. Another reason why I agree with this because the only team I have not seen play against Lask because I was on, on vacation was Austria Vienna and so I've seen now all the 12 teams in the Austrian Bundesliga this season which I think is, is something that was also kind of uh, in, in interesting to me. The game, Austria Vienna uh, were the better team for most of the game. They got an early penalty that Fitz converted after they already missed a good chance uh, early on. Then the game kind of got a little bit slower. Blavis really did not bring much. Uh, once they did after the first half, they got caught on a car contact with Fitz uh, assist Schmidt. Alexander Schmidt, who had been with Lask, where he didn't hit the net at all. I mean, this was also only his, I think, fourth goal or third goal this season. Makes it 2-0. Everyone knew that this is where the game, uh, that, that this end ended the game. At least Blavis pulled one back to uh, through Pirkel. So you know he scored the first goal uh, of their goal in the season. He also scored the last goal uh, of their season. It was a okay match. I found uh, two two not notable events that, that I want to have said is a the seemingly Austrian Vienna fans came by boat from Vienna, which I think is really cool, and then I made a nice tifo. Uh, from a TV series, Vicky with a Viking, which I th found really creative and really well done. And the other thing is that the uh, blau fans were celebrating 50 years of the only title of uh, SK First Linz, which is kind of the predecessor of the fans, but SK First was then actually merged with Lask. So, you know, uh, how, how I would say the fan base still sees it as their title. They were celebrating the 50 years, which actually was also interesting to see because it's kind of history of the football in Linz, although I am definitely not on the blau side. But yeah, um, that was my experience there. Austria Vienna actually with that win gave themselves a chance to finish top of the qualification round. And I have not mentioned it. They fired a coach after losing to Wolfsburg last week. So a uh, little bit, they want to get back into international business or at least uh, play European. So you need it. So you need to go into playoff, build, which we'll talk about in a little bit. If you would have had the qualification round in the semifinal, you would have hosted it. However, there was a chance 
Bacher gave Tirol a lead in Wolfsburg. Uh, however, after they have Borg GP Singer and then homage after two uh, uh, Tirol players have been sent off, turned the game, game around and Wolfsburg wins the qualification round and also ends Thomas Silberberger's 13 year reign at the helm of Tirol, which is also quite an amazing statistic as well. To me, with Silberberger leaving and Lusner already down and uh, Graz or GRK coming up, to me, Tirol feel like the team most likely to go down next season unless they find another solution. But um, there are too many pointers to, to me that say six years is probably already enough uh, and they are stretching beyond. I actually have a feeling we might not have a real battle against the rele relegation similar to this year, although Lucena then managed to make it tight, but in, in, in the end it's a fully deserved re relegation, uh, especially it, only due to the format it became a little bit more exciting. But the season is not over yet. The season is not over yet. We still have the playoffs to come. Uh, and the playoff is for uh, a Conference League qualification round spot. Where next Tuesday Wolfsburg will host Austria Vienna. And the winner will then have a home and away against Hartberg. So first then at home, which will be Saturday. And then I think the following Tuesday they stretch it out. They used to do it within one week, but they stretch it a little bit out. Uh, and then we know who will play in the Europa, or Europa Conference League playoff. I think they enter in the second qualifying round, so it's not a big chance to get in. But So that is the last thing. Um, I will do then a summary of the whole Bundesliga season after that is concluded. And then after I've done all the summaries, we'll move into Euro 2024 mode. In any case, Seriously disappointed. I can't tell. I should be happy about it. I'm seriously disappointed. So ashamed. So ashamed. I <sighs> don't know what to say. Maybe that's where we should let, let, it, let it be. And let's end the video here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!